I'm doing some precision indexing of this flywheel. I made a mark where it was close and where it was far away. I used my rotary file, just like if it was on a mill, and got it precise. Check this out. So this is the part of the flywheel that was tight and working, and this is the part of the flywheel where the starter was not making contact. So I had to router these holes out slightly to move the flywheel away from the starter where it was tight and get tighter where it was loose. And now I'll just, I relieved this bracket. I'm gonna adjust the starter inwards. And we're gonna remount it. Do you think it's gonna crank over? Well, stick around, let's see. So I rotated it all the way around and it looks pretty well indexed now. Now we have to adjust the distance between the starter and the flywheel so it engages. So, and this bolt right here, I've upgraded this engine so much, it uses a metric wrench now because that's a metric bolt that I use just because we want it to be as modern as possible. Now let's make an adjustment. So first I'm loosening the one bolt that's holding it in. There's a location pin down here too. And we're going to use an adjuster, special tool for this aftermarket starter and flywheel kit. Check this out. Here's my special adjuster. I think that might be it. Now I just got to tighten everything up and we're going to try cranking it over. All right, here's this other mint setup I got. I got the battery pack hooked up. Now we're standing far enough back so when things start flying off this thing, I won't be really hurt too bad, hopefully. So let's see. What? No way. It doesn't sound real healthy, but I think it's going to work. Do you think this thing will run? Comment down below. Thanks for watching.